What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, this is a tutorial video about quotes. Um, I mean, obviously you have estimates and there's quotes. Why do I need a, a quote if I have an estimate? Uh, I'm gonna show you why and advantage of quotes and all the new features that we added to quotes. So this is a very important video. Please watch at the end. Um, let's start with uh, creating an estimate real quick. And so let's say I'm just going to use can jobs just for, for fast. So let's say I have a, and the customer needs an alternator and let's say starter. So if the customer need an alternator and starter, let's say the customer says, I don't want to do the, uh, the starter. Let's just do the alternator. If the customer said that, that doesn't mean the problem is solved. So we still need the starter. So instead of deleting the item right here and trash it, we can decline it. By declining it, what happens is it creates a quote automatically on the side right here. So there's a button right here, it's called view quote or add a quote, just right there. So when you click on it, there's a quote right there. Why do we do that? For two reasons, because like I said, just because he said no, that doesn't mean the, the, the problem is fixed. We're gonna try to resell this job at some point. And if uh, if we have, if he declined, I say he needed Let's say he needed pads and rotors too, and he did decline that too. We're just gonna decline the, the pads and rotors. So if he, oh shit, I trashed it. Okay, my bad. All right, let me put it again. So let's say pads and rotors, and yeah, the trash is like, you, you're, it's not, you, you don't see it anymore. Decline, it goes automatically to quote. So we have, now we have two uh, declined jobs in that quote. So we have the starter and we have um, the, the pads and rotors. So that's the beauty of that. We can try to resell this job at some point. If I wanna print the quote, I can print the quote to the customer and, and give it to him for future. So he can like, you know, if he doesn't have money now, he can uh, he can uh, basically save up money for it. So you're gonna see subtotal, you're gonna see part labor. Uh, it's a little bit different than, it's gonna say quote on it. It's gonna have a quote number uh, on it. So it's different than an estimate. And uh, you can print it to him and give it to him. But the question is, okay, wh what happens, let's say I cash this customer out, let's just cash this customer out. Pay invoice, cash what happened to the quote right now so two ways the quote always will be connected to the vehicle anytime you so let, let's do this again so let's say the customer came back and the same was it the track home no okay so it was then you brought the pontiac g6 so it, on the side, it's gonna say, does vehicle have a quote? Yes, and the button, instead of saying add a quote, it's gonna say view quote. So I can see the quote right here. So your job at this moment, if the customer came back and there's a quote from previous repairs, your job right now to resell this item if he, he, if he didn't already fix it. And to you can transfer all, all this stuff to the main estimate or you can transfer by double clicking on each item. So if I double click on the starter and double click again, so it's, it transfers automatically. So you're gonna see, okay, I transferred the starter. If, uh, and you can, you, at this point, I mean, if he said yes, you transfer the starter. And you can sell the starter, but you still have the other quote uh, for, the, uh, for the pads and rotors. So if you sell them the whole job, then click on transfer all. But let's go ahead and decline this and decline this again. All right, so what happened if the customer, and we're gonna delete this estimate. What happened if the customer did not come back? So when you created that quote, it's your job to try to sell it within, within the next 30 days uh, to figure out a way to sell that job. And we gonna, you're gonna see at the bottom under workflow, at the bottom, there's two links right here. Show archived estimate, and then show all quotes. If I click on that, I'm gonna see there is a quote number for, for the Pontiac G6. If I click on it, remember, this is not an estimate right now. This is just a quote. So we just created an ability to let you uh, open the quote without creating an estimate, which is pretty cool. 
Um, I can create a new estimate right here if, if the customer is there, but why, why is this important right here to be able to view the quote? Is if I wanna sell this job, whether I wanna send it to him through a text message, new message, hey, you know, don't forget, let's say don't forget the car, that you still need the pads and rotors in the starter, do you want us to do it? Uh, stuff like that, so let me, let me do that again. New attach, attaching quote. Oh, I might not work like this. Okay, so we might need to fix that part because you're viewing that quote. I don't think it's gonna let you. Well, no problem, we'll fix it. Let me try just one more time. So if I come in here, attach an estimate. Yeah, so definitely, okay, so we'll fix it so you should be able to uh, send the quote in a text message we'll take care of that try one more time just to make sure that... yeah it's switching to green okay so we'll take care of it but yes you should be able to send a message send it in an, in a text message or i mean i don't know if it's kind of cool to send in a text message because that's kind of direct but you could, it depends, that's, that's between you and your customers. I prefer sending it in an email and just click send, uh, send it in an email that way that you don't have to worry about, like let the customer decide. I mean, it's, it's, if you send in a text message, you're confronting them. Um, and what's, what's the customer is gonna receive? He's gonna receive uh, something like this. So it's gonna receive this. And just, you know, word it in your mind, like you, because you're a salesman at this moment, you're trying to sell on this job, hey, don't forget your, your pads and rollers and your, your, your starter, uh, so, which is really cool. So quotes are definitely after we, we fix the texting uh, thing for, uh, to attach the text thing, um, uh, it should be really good and should help you to sell more and more and bring more business, so. Um, to delete the quotes, really simple. You, actually, you can you can come in here, and let's say let's say I tried to sell the job, and he said I already did the job. Okay, well our job at this moment to delete this quote because it's no it's not it's, there's no it's no longer valid. So I can click yes, and then click done. It's gonna bring me here. So you're gonna be able to manage quotes in a way that we never had before. Uh, it's a beautiful way. I love it. Uh, VIP shop management continue to get better and better uh, to make your life easier uh, Still be the best prices out there and to does the job. I mean literally I, Sometimes I look at VIP and I don't know what is this thing. Uh, it's just completely differently designed than any shop management software out there uh, It looks elegant. It looks beautiful. The estimate looks beautiful. The invoices looks beautiful it's literally high. It's going to continue to get better and better. Uh, it's just uh, it's a uh, it's a premium product with uh, uh, with the affordable price. That's the best way I can describe it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.